Purple rain, purple rain. Please don't sue me, Prince's Estate. Hello, Champagne Dreamers. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. I don't know how you found me, but my name is Janessa, and I am North Dakota's trash queen of glam, geek, and gore. And for today's video, we are doing this fabulous, fabulous purple look using a brand new to me indie brand. I'm very excited. I've never tried this indie brand before and we're going to be creating this look. So if you want to know more about this look and how it all came together, then stick around because we're getting into it right now. That's right, I know we're giving it away. This time we're starting with the look done. This is going to be a look that I'm doing mostly with the Bella Beauté Bar Ultraviolet Palette. And that's a collab palette that they did with Deandra Nicole. And I also get a little bit of help from the Nueva Vida palette from Gourmand Girls with Steph's Beauty Stash. So we are doing a collab palette look. We've got two fabulous creators who have created two really gorgeous palettes. This is the Ultraviolet palette. This is from Bella B. Bar. I had never ordered from Bella B. Bar. I was always intrigued, but there was never really a color story that really got me, especially if I'm honest, for the prices that they charge. But when I saw this and I saw the Dead Roses palette, I was like, okay, now that, that, that I could get on board with. Because this is just a collection of absolutely beautiful, beautiful purples. And on the same day, they also released the Dead Roses palette. Now this has a few purpley, orchidy kind of shades as well, but it's also got some really lovely pinky corals, and there's a lot of these beautiful duochrome shimmers that go a little bit green. I love this. I haven't had a chance to play with this yet, but I'm so excited. I have so many ideas for this. And these two launched on the same day. And I was like, you know what? I know that this has a little bit of purple in it, but this is the queen queen of purples and this has so many beautiful colors that I love. If we're gonna try the brand let's just dive in and I ordered both of them. I am who I am. I cannot be stopped. But today we're gonna be playing with this one. So I'm gonna review all of the products that I use to get this look and I'm gonna show you the application of the eye look and this blush draping. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's morph into that potato face serial killer that you know and love. I've written a letter to daddy. His address is heaven above. Whatever did happen to baby Jane? This little head wrap is too much, so we're gonna take it off. But I've got the base done, so we're not full potato face serial killer, but um, thought I would come on and tell you what I've got before we get into the eye look. So for foundation, we have the Makeup Revolution IRL face filter, IRL filter, the Longwear Foundation, and the Soft Matte Concealer. This is in F4, this is in C1. Um, I don't know what happened with this because I remember using this and liking it. I put this on and it was super corpsey. It was gray. It was... <laughs> I, it was not good. We were The Walking Dead um, and not the good seasons. We were like way out there in like season nine. So it was not great. So I used a little bit of this Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. This is in 2C01. This is a little bit darker than I would like, but because I wasn't doing the full face in it, I just used it to warm up the corpse flesh. It actually came out pretty nice. For primer, I just used the Scandinavia Makeup Priming Spray. This was gifted to me by my friend Dion. If you haven't seen our collab video yet, check it out here. We had a good time. Then for the cheek contour, I started with the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. This one is in the shade Medium. And I added a little bit of In the Buff from the Blend Bunny Bare Cheeks palette. And going into the Makeup Archives. This is the Becca Chloe Kardashian Malika 
best friend forever bullshit, whatever this was. This was Malika's face palette and this bronzer shade, I used that a little bit in there as well. And then added a little bit of this just to kind of add a little pinkish reddish tone because we're gonna do kind of a fun pink blush drapey look. Primed the eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and put a little bit of the Lunar Beauty Loose Setting Powder in pink under the eyes and now we're ready to go. So I am feeling the purple fantasy. I wanna use the Bella Beauté Bar Ultra Violet Palette. This is their collab palette with Deandra Nicole. And there are so many beautiful, gorgeous, purple, orchid, violet kind of shades in here that I was like, let's do a purple look. I haven't done a purple look in a while. I've done purple and pink, but we're gonna stick to purple. We might sneak in a little bit of green at the end, we'll see, but we're definitely gonna do a lot of fun purple. So I'm gonna start with this matte kind of lilac shade. This is the shade Peace, and I'm gonna put that through my kind of my crease area where I draw my crease in. And I tend to like to stick to more blue-based purples, so I'm going to go into this matte. This is Nobility, and I'm going to use that to finish out the shape. When you're up, you think you'll never go down, never go down, ooh. Once you're down, you think you'll never get up, never get up, ooh. When we love, you think we'll never break up, never break up, ooh. But we break up and make up, get down and get up, break up and make up, get down and get up. I never learn from my mistakes, everything you drop breaks, even a pretty face. It's pretty cool to fall in love. I need something to take me down, it's cooler in the clouds, not when we're falling out. I don't want to fall right now. When you're So I'm going to put some shimmers on the lid. I'm going to start with this shade, which is Spiritual, and then go into this shade, which is Rarity. This one is very soft. I put my finger in these, and this one I left a big old chunk. So these are beautiful purpley shades, and we're going to mix those together on the lid. Let me finger bang a little shadow on.
All right, so I'm really loving the way that these two shimmers are blending together. I do also want to use this beautiful shimmer, so I'm going to use that on the lower lash line. I'm going to use this shade Balance to go ahead and do the outer corner and just deepen that up and blend it up into that shimmer. And then I'm going to take this shimmer, Extravagance, and then we're going to do that on the inner part of the lower lash line. People standing, still dancing when the lights come on. The music is fading, but this is our favorite part. I used to feel like an outcast, but I think I'm alright after all. Cause you make me feel like I belong. You like me from me without all of the glitter. Like a little kid And all my insecurities Just disappear when You're here with me I've been a stranger to That's really pretty I'm gonna use some of that shimmer Just where these kind of come together Just because this is still fairly light And so just to help Blend it all together Oh yeah, that's what we need there. That's perfect. Never felt so high. Won't even care if you and I come crashing down tonight. I'll let it hit me. It feels different whenever you're around. If I'm blue again tomorrow, that's alright. Cause I'm so damn happy now. So I am loving this purple look. However, I do have the Nueva Vida palette from Gourmand Girls and Steph's Beauty Stash. And I mentioned that I might want to do just a little pop of green. So we have this matte right here, this neon, neon matte weekend vibes. And then we've got this kind of green with pink shimmer. Island time. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of that green and if I want a little shimmer I might just leave it with just the green But if I still want a little bit of shimmer with this inner corner pop, I'll add a little bit of that as well You're always there to pick me up I don't think that I'll tell you enough that I love you and how you light me up I used to feel like an outcast But with you I know from you without all of the glitter and you make me laugh just like a little kid and all my insecurities just disappear when you're here with me all right so that just gave it the little extra super villain pop that i needed so i love this I'm going to put some eyebrows on and we'll be right back. All right, so here is the eye look done. I did the brows. We used the Give Me Glow Cake Liner in Ursula. I used this darker shade. And then I went ahead and filled in the whole brow shape with Powerful, this matte down here from the Deandra Nicole and Bella Butte Bar palette. And then used Rarity. And then a little bit of that green shimmer island time just at the very front of the brow. So that's how we did the brows. And then I finished off with some of the Vice Lashes from Blend Bunny. This is the Style Vixen. And I love these. Now, they may be sold out already. I think some of the styles are sold out. But they were clearancing out the Vice's set of lashes. There's four different styles and they were on sale for $2. So if you check out blendbunnycosmetics.com, check the lashes, you may be able to get a deal on some of these fabulous. The Virtues lashes, which are a little bit tamer, are still, I think, $8, which is still a good price, but these were on sale for $2. So I stocked up and there may be a few left after I was done. So now we're gonna do like a fun blush drapey pink 
very 80s kind of look. I love it. I think that pink with this purple is going to be gorgeous. So I have two of the one size cheek clapper blush trios, the new like hot fuchsia shade Gourley Pop, and then we have Attention Seeker, which is the lighter, brighter pink. So I'm going to start with the darker of the pink cream blushes. Um, if you know, I'm not a fan of cream liquid blushes, but I have been loving using them with this Real Technique sponge. So this is the kind of turquoisey colored one, and if you look at it next to a regular Real Technique sponge, it's a much more open weave kind of porous texture, and it works really well with cream and liquid blush and highlighters. So I'm going to start with this, and then we'll start to use some of the powders from the two different compacts. And I'm going right into that contour, just kind of blending it, because the blush is going to be almost like the contour. I want a little bit of the contour underneath, but it's mostly going to be just a lot of beautiful shades of ombre pink. That's a lot of pink. Now I'm going to go into the darker, the matte shade here in Gourley Pop. This is Pick Me. And again, I'm just going to kind of go where the cream was and just give it a little bit of matteness. And then we're going to start going into this and we'll bring in some of the lighter pink as well. Now that we're getting into the powder blushes, I'm going to keep the darker pink kind of, this is as far out as I want to go from here to the hairline. And then we're going to bring the lighter pink in to do the inner part of the face so that we get a little bit more of the gradient. We get a little lightness. We still want lightness in the face. We don't want it to be, we're not turning ourselves into a raspberry. We want to just be like blush draped. And remember there will be a wig. So some of this will be covered up. I know it's a little bit extreme right now, but trust the process. I'll be in fools drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. So this is the Attention Seeker Cheek Clapper, and before we get into the shimmer blushes, we're going to go into Yes Sir, which is this lighter one, and we're going to blend that onto the edges and bring it down onto the apples of the cheek with this fabulous F01 brush from Singe Beauty. Every night with you, you and me so clueless. Now this is a little bit extreme, even for me. I do love a lot of blush, but it's a little bit much, but I did a little bit extra. Before we get into the shimmer, I'm gonna go ahead and tone this down a little bit with a setting powder. And I'm gonna use the Lunar Beauty powder in pink because it's already gonna have that pink undertone, which is good for brightening on normal skin, but since I have a pink look, it's gonna still kind of dull down the blush a little bit, but it's gonna keep that pink rosy kind of tone and just, add into this whole blush draping experience, theoretically. We'll find out if that's true.
too much powder. No such thing. So now I'm going to take the Singe Beauty F07 and I'm going to start working with those shimmer blushes. I'm going to start with Love Me from Gourley Pop and use that again, just kind of going down to the inner part of the cheek up here where eventually we're going to blend in with the highlight. And then transitioning to Kisses Please, the lighter shimmer blush from Attention Seeker. finish up with highlighter and lips. Always a favorite when I do a pink blush drapey look. This is the Ketracel White Highlighter Palette from Adept Cosmetics. And I'm going to start by just tapping on some of this cream shade Vorta. I'm just going to use a finger because we've done so much powder blush and like a setting powder over it. I don't want to use a lot of the cream because it's going to start messing with things underneath it. But we're just going to do some of this Vorta to set it up. And then I'm going to add a powder highlighter over that. So many layers! Chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better So here is that shade, and can I just say, we are deeply in the pan of this shade, and for me to hit pan on a cream highlight cheek face product never happens. So this was absolutely such a surprise. I love it. And speaking of going into the makeup archives, I pulled out the Moon Child palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am going to use the highlighter Purple Horseshoe. Remember this? Remember when all the booty gurus lost their goddamn minds about this palette? I do, and I bought it. So here we are. So there we are, the pink and purple. I am loving, loving, loving this look. I think I want to keep the pink to the face, so I think we're going to do a purple lip. So this is the Trixie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Synth. We're going to do this, and then we'll either add some powder on top or maybe a liquid eyeshadow. We'll do something to shimmer it up. You don't 
All right, so I've got the liquid lipstick on. I do love just this color by itself, but you can never have enough shimmer. So once again, from the Nueva Vita palette from Gourmand Girls and Steph's Beauty Stash, I'm gonna tap just a little bit of island time. I love this unexpected pop of green, but I like finding ways to work it in to other places as well. Be a little wilder, baby, kick your shoes off, don't hide it. I don't feel Gorgeous. Love it. A little bit of green. Very fabulous. So now I'm going to throw on a wig, put on a little bit of drag, and we're going to be right back with final thoughts. All right, so this is the final look. This is everything all put together. And this beautiful, beautiful purple eye look using the Bella Beauté X Deandra Nicole Ultraviolet Palette. What do we think? I am loving this. I love purple and green together. I know that it has super villain associations. I know it's a little bit Joker. It's a little bit Lex Luthor. I don't care. I love purple and green together. And I think this is really beautiful. Now, obviously, I didn't get to use every single shade in this palette. This is still kind of a first impressions. But I did use one, two, three, four of the mattes. And I used one, two, three of the shimmers. Tried to keep it more in that blue blue purple rather than these more pinky orchid kind of shades that's going to be a look for another day but I just wanted to go with the more blue toned so we can have this beautiful royal purple add a little pop of green and just get the full joker fantasy I love it so I am a fan. This is my first time trying Bella Beauté Bar, and I have to say they kind of live up to the hype. Now, I've been nervous because a lot of times with Bella Beauté Bar, they sell out super fast and they do a lot of pre-orders, and when their palettes are as expensive as their palettes are, it makes me a little nervous. If you're going to be spending $60, $65, $70 dollars on a palette, especially for a brand I hadn't tried before, uh, I just wasn't sure that I was ready to do that. So now I know more about the quality. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to play with the Dead Roses palette. I ordered those at the same time. So I think I'm going to enjoy this. I think Bella Beauté Bar is going to become one of those brands that I go to in my indie brand rotation. So let me know down below what you thought of this video. Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to give me that thumbs up to tell me you appreciated this video. Let me know that you love this Joker look, that you love a little green and purple together. It's your super villain fantasy. Or if you are Batman and you are coming for this Joker look, go ahead and give me that thumbs down. It is all engagement. The algorithm isn't a picky bitch and neither am I. And while you're down there, don't forget that you can hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of all future uploads. I try really hard to get at least one video out a week. I know I'm not super consistent. I know I don't pick a specific day, but I try to at least get a video out a week. And sometimes, if you're very lucky, you might even get a bonus video. Ooh, purple-tastic. If you'd like to chat, banter, or commiserate between uploads, all of my social media will be linked down below in the description box, including a link to my website, The World of Champagne at JanessaJ.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of you. I love it when you come along on these Get Ratchet With Me's. I have such a good time, and I love trying out new indie brands, and Bella Beauté Bar was definitely a winner. So thank you so much for being here, and until I see you again, bye. Hello, f hello, fuckers. <laughs> hello, fuckers. Hello. Let's, if we're going to try the brand... If we're going to try the brand... Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking to warm up the corpse flesh as like an innuendo to like sex. Or yeah. <laughs> warm up the corpse flesh. Gotta warm up the corpse flesh. <laughs> my, my brain. I was looking for my little makeup wipe and I couldn't come up with makeup wipe and I almost called it a cum rag. <laughs> Where did I put the... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, uh, uh, uh. 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 U
<laughs> that means go ahead. So this is the attention sheet. Attention sheaker? Yeah. Pretty girl. So I've been re revisiting some old uh, Game of Thrones clips. Oh yeah? Can we just talk about how... I mean, I'm glad that Brienne of Tarth got her little hookup with Jamie Lannister. Oh yeah, that was interesting. Why was she not into Tormund the Wildling? Because first of all, he's he thought hot she as was fuck, hot. Yeah, and he was he's so good. in love with her. Yes, he's all so of just her, like adorable. Like, qualities of her being big and strong and everything. He was like, yeah, I want that. We should have the biggest children ever, like monsters. <laughs> <laughs>